Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, and I want to give you a quick missionary update. And this past week, we had a total of 153 salvations, uh, really good results, um, lower than we've had actually for a lot of our weeks this year because the first couple months have been just great. We've had 1,500 salvations for the first two months to the dot, exactly 1,500 between our ministries. And uh, we've been really pushing hard, and uh, you know things are going have been going really great. So 153 is really solid, though. Um, we ran into some obstacles that actually lowered our results, and I'll talk about that later on in this video. But uh, we're still pleased with those results. And um, anyways, in terms of sermons preached this Wednesday or past Wednesday, Brother Mateus preached on John 3:16. He had several points there. He did a good job. And then on Sunday, the first sermon I preached was on unity in the local church, which we're just going through the book of Romans, and that's what most of Romans chapter 12 is about. And so I had preached on two verses um, you know, a few weeks ago, just the first two verses of Romans 12, which are really packed, and I just kind of covered the rest of Romans 12 this past Sunday. Then I preached a sermon on false philosophy's introduction, and you know, I apologize because we didn't really get a good recording of that, and I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But in the false philosophies introduction, um, I basically talked about how the popular philosophies appeal to man's wisdom and they seem right to man. But they're not found in what the Word of God says, which is where they crumble. And I, and I talked about how with most of these famous philosophies, there's a guiding principle, which is what makes them popular. And I mentioned just briefly, sort of with Taoism, it's uh, the art of effortless living, having an easy life or effortless life. And that really appeals to flesh. You know, it really appeals to you to have a stress-free life, no difficulties. That sounds great. But the problem is, in Genesis chapter 3, God said, you know, by the sweat of thy brow, you're going to bring forth bread. And, you know, we saw when life was too easy in the Garden of Eden, then man screwed it up. And so... That's actually a philosophy that you can see where it's popular, but it actually crumbles because it's it's based on a faulty um, principle right off the bat. But I talked about with, with Christianity, sort of like the guiding principle is that our lives are not about us. And that's what Jesus Christ taught us, and you see that throughout the entire Bible, that you know we go soul winning because it's not about us. It's about those that we're talking to. And our whole lives, you know, being married, having kids, it's not about us, it's about the people person that we're married to and about our kids. And so I talked about that and unfortunately we didn't get a great recording on the false philosophies um, you know, sermon, but uh, it's going to be a long series. I'm, I'm really excited about it. And so just a couple other things just to quickly let you know, um, we actually are having uh, the governments being kind of strict again. Uh, the, the coronavirus cases and how they're counting them has skyrocketed. And I have a lot of strong opinions about that, which are things I'm not going to share, you know, publicly in a video. But um, it's caused lo localized lockdowns to take place. And I don't think they're going to have a super strict lockdown again, but, you know, I'm not really sure. And, you know, the Philippines, it's been over a year now since all the lockdowns started. And we have had the number one um, longest running and strictest lockdown in the entire world. And even at this point, children under the age of 15 are not legally allowed out in public. Now, that's not really enforced. It sort of is. It's enforced in some areas, which makes it very confusing. But it, it, it has definitely been a huge hindrance to us in terms of soul winning and church growth and people being able to attend church. And now that they're adding lockdowns again, it's kind of hard to see what's going to happen. So we actually had a few soul winning instances of people that were going out and then they were told, hey, you know, you're not allowed to do this. They had like a lockdown in the area. And so it's kind of hard to see what's going on. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll, we want to do our best to serve God during this time period. And it's, it's hopefully they won't get really strict again. We were hoping the first week of April that we could break our record for attendance on Easter Sunday, number of soul winners for a week, and number of salvations. And I hope we can still do that. We're, we're planning soul winning, you know, pretty much Wednesday through Sunday that week. But now I don't really know what's going to happen. So just pray for us and whether or not we're able to keep getting, you know, 150 plus salvations in a week or whether or not things are very tough. So we have to go down to just door to door and aren't able to do it quite as much. You're, you're still rewarded for the work that you do. So they've closed a lot of parks, I know, in Pampanga, and a lot of parks are just being shut down, and, and no one's allowed to enter it. 
But, you know, we're trying our best, and uh, we're still getting a lot of salvations, so hopefully things will stay open. We'll see about that. And just one other note in terms of our live stream. As I said, we didn't get a good recording on the False Philosophy sermon. It's actually my fault. There was a setting that I had on my phone I forgot to take off. We've been trying to make some changes, and we've definitely bettered um, our, our live stream quite a bit. And... There are some obstacles here that maybe in other parts of the world they don't have, such as, um, you know, it's hard to get a reliable internet connection. But um, we're working through these things, and there's still a few minor difficulties. So as things get better, sometimes there's kind of minor setbacks along the way. We're hoping to get it really smooth and we can have a really solid um, live stream, both the audio and video here soon. But we're, we're still looking at getting a reliable internet connection, whether or not we should get a plan or whether or not we're able to do it without that. We're not really sure, but um, hopefully we'll get good recordings of our sermons here. And those are kind of the things we're working, we're working through right now. So just be in prayer for us about that. And things are overall going really well, but we do have some obstacles, it seems like, that might be coming up, and we'll see what happens. Thank you, and God bless.